Well, as we try to set up these bale fields in the fall, we know the number of animals and the number of days on feed, and then we estimate pounds of dry matter. So we don't have, you know, run out in, in March when the snow is up to your knees or higher, and then you have to, you know, try and get more feed out there. But you can have too many out there, and then you have all these bales in the spring. We've bale grazed herds anywhere from 200 head to 1500 head in one herd and I don't think the size of the herd is really that important. Um, I mean as far as the system works it takes the same amount of time to move that fence. It doesn't matter how many cows are out there. As long as you have enough feed for each individual cow and enough access to feed for those cows it, it really doesn't matter how many cows are in your group um, just as long as you're set up for them. A three-day move is pretty optimum basically the first two and a half days of that time period the cows have hay in front of them to eat and the, the other half a day basically the cows are on a cleanup mode and uh, go back and they pick over the residue from the previous days and it seems to work best and then also with the three-day move there's equal access for all those cows to be able to get in and be able to utilize and, and use those hay bales uh, if we shave it down to two days uh, depending on the weight of the bales and how many cows, usually there isn't enough equal access for those cows to get into that hay and you end up with the lower end of the cows not getting enough to eat. There's 50 cows out there so I have five bales out so that every cow has a chance to get around that bale. If you have only you know, two bales for 50 cows, every cow can't get around and get two bales so the old and the young get pushed off or the lame or, and they just lose condition on you. So I target 10 cows per bale give or take, but 10 works really nice. And then everything gets a chance to get a mouthful. If we go through a period where we feel that the cows are going through a weight loss uh, situation, probably due to weather or maybe the feed quality, then we make sure that we give the cows access to more feed during those periods of time. And the exact opposite during periods where the cows are going through uh, periods where they're putting on a lot of uh, extra weight, then we'll actually cut the cows back and extend our moves maybe by an extra day or half a day during those periods of time. And a lot of time it's not only just looking at the, the body condition of the cows, but it's even just looking at the, the residue that we leave behind and the volume of residue that's being left to go hand in hand as long as you're using good quality feed for those cows to have access to. You know, the shorter the rotation, the higher the nutritional plane, but you still have to have room for all the animals to eat and then you know, quality of life, so three to five days seems to be a good one.